Time for a new mattress. Out with the old and in with the new. Hey everybody, I'm Mike. And I'm Susan and we're RV Blogger. And we are sick and tired of our old mattress. So we finally decided to get a brand new mattress for the RV. It was here when we bought the RV. Yeah. So we're not really sure how old it was. <laughs> well, it's a, yeah, it's yeah. A, this is a 2008 Class C yeah. RV that we have. So I imagine- It very well could be that old. <laughs> I think it's the original mattress. It was like a five inch foam pad, horrible mattress. Right. Um, it was yeah. fine the first couple years we had it, yeah. but then, um, I've been sinking into the mattress at night. I think I've been sleeping on about an inch of foam. Probably. Yeah, we tried doctoring it up. We bought a mattress pad cover, yeah. pretty plush, yep. um, and a foam, foam topper. Foam topper. Um, so we tried to extend the life of that mattress as long as we possibly could, but... It did not help. As you saw, it went in the dumpster. <laughs> yeah, it did not help at all. So now we got a new Takta mattress. <laughs> we did. We got a brand new Takta mattress, and we're going to go ahead and throw this baby in here and, mm -hmm. and check it out. Right. But um, in the meantime, hey, if you guys have seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to the channel. We're certainly glad to have you back. And if this is your first time seeing us on YouTube, welcome, welcome aboard. aboard. We make videos all about RVing. And we also have our website called rvblogger.com where we literally have hundreds of articles that we've written about RVing as well. And then we also have our super fantastic Facebook group called RV Camping for Newbies, which you're absolutely invited to join the group, meet other RVers, ask questions, answer questions that other people have, just right. jump in and join and have a really, really great time. It's a very, very active group. Um, and we For really, sure. we really enjoy it. And I think mm -hmm. everyone gets a lot out of it. So now that the old mattress is in the dump, we are going to unbox the new one. Let's do it. All right. So here's our brand new mattress. We're just going to get this baby out of the box. Now, Takta ships their mattresses all over the lower 48 in the U.S. for free. So that's kind of nice. We didn't have to pay a shipping charge. Um, the box says that, that would it, be a lot. <laughs> it would be a lot because the box says it weighs 60 pounds, but man, I swear it weighs a hundred. I mean, it, it's just awkward. So it yeah. weighs a ton. Um, but it does have handles on the side. So yeah, it does. It comes with these handles so you can, you know, you can lift it up, but it's right. still pretty heavy. Yeah. Now you guys might notice that we have this whitish pad laying down on the bed. This is a uh, pad that goes between your mattress and your plywood underneath and it's used to keep moisture from building up underneath your mattress we explain that a lot more towards the end of the video so stick around for that because that's a super important part of installing a mattress in your rv um, and we'll cover that a little bit later oh i hear it <laughs> you can hear it you can hear the air already going into the mattress to, uh, to reinflate it. Now, Tokta says this will be fully inflated within a couple minutes and ready to sleep on. Yeah, we'll we'll see how that works. Right. Um, Some... Other manufacturers say it could take hours, maybe even 24 hours. Uh, so we like the idea that it's ready to go. Otherwise, we'd be sleeping in the upper cab. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I had to do that when we had our grandson with us, and it's not very comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Susan and my he grandson insisted we switch were places. here, and <laughs> I ended up in the over <laughs> Easy peasy. Yeah. Oh man, this feels nice. Feels a lot better already. Looks good. Well, we got the mattress all rolled out and uh, it's fully inf inflated. It was fast. <laughs> Literally did inflate in minutes. Yeah. So that was really kind of cool. Yep. We laid on it a little bit. It feels super, super comfortable. Yeah. It is very, very plush. Very plush. And the way these mattresses are made is they are a foam mattress but there's two layers of foam. There's a, a firmer layer of foam on the bottom, and then there's a couple of inches of foam in the Utopia series that sits on top of that. And that's what we got was the middle of the road Utopia series mattress. They only sell three kinds, the Journey, which is a fantastic mattress. 
the Utopia, which is their middle of road, but it's a very high quality mattress. And then their Divini, which is their top of the line mattress, which is just like a Utopia, except you can- It has a special feature. It has a special feature. We'll tell you about that in a minute. <laughs> but this baby feels great. Uh, yeah. So we're enjoying it and yeah. we're looking forward to spending, sleeping some nights on it and seeing how we like it. Yep. So, but first of all, let's talk about why we chose Takta uh, to, to buy our mattress from. Mm -hmm. And um, we did a lot of research on this before we bought our mattress. And I even wrote a blog article about it. If you want to click in the corner up here, you can go to the website and read all about it. But in our research, um, we were trying to find, you know, the best mattress that we possibly could. And so I took my time and called all these companies and checked them all out. And there are basically three big reasons that we chose to go with Takta. Right. And the first of those reasons is because I just like them as a company. And what I mean by that is they have outstanding customer service. Every single time I called them, and I, I didn't call them and tell them I was Mike at RV Blogger at first. I was just shopping for a mattress because we needed one. But I never I never got put into voicemail. Every time I called, someone answered the phone. They could always answer my question. If they couldn't, they called me back and answered my question. They were friendly. They were nice. They were just fantastic to deal with. Mm -hmm. Another part of them being a great company is that they're a U.S.-based company. They're, they build their mattresses right here in the U.S. They're in Southern California, um, and they've been in business for 35 years, so they know what they're doing when it comes to building mattresses. Mm -hmm. And then uh, finally, they only make high-quality mattresses. They make the three different kinds that I mentioned, the Journey, the Utopia, and the Divini, and that's it. They don't have any of the, mm -hmm. you know, lower quality mattresses right. that you might find at some other places or they're not going to cut corners no they just build really great mattresses right. and that's it and i'm glad we picked them because this mattress is mm -hmm. pretty awesome right so the second reason why we chose them is because they do customize mattresses for whatever you want whatever management you want they're capable of doing it um, they make mattresses for home, for RV, and for trucks. So if you're a truck driver and you have a bed in the back, they can even make a mattress for that. Yeah. So they have a variety of sizes. Um, if you need a radial cut, if you need a corner cut, they're, they're capable of doing that for you as well. You just send them to Dimensions, and that's easy to do on their website. Yeah, they, their website is set up really well for that. They have a picture of a bed. Sorry, honey. They have a picture of a bed, and you you click what kind of mattress that you have it'll guide you with exactly what to measure how to measure it um, it's super super simple they're, they're set up really well for that right so not only can you choose the length and the width but you can also choose the thickness and you can get that up to 10 inches so yeah, yeah. you know it's it's highly customizable and so the third uh, mattress that mike referred to the divini it has this dual um, firmness zone thing that <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. if your partner prefers a more firm yep. mattress than you do uh, you can get that one and you can select up to nine different firmnesses on yep. either side yeah and then the third big reason that we chose Takta is because I think they have the best warranty out there now all the mattress companies have a warranty but once you start digging into the fine print a little bit you'll find that some of the mattress companies don't cover mattresses that are not the standard sizes. And right. if you're buying a mattress for an RV, there's a really good chance you're not ordering a standard size mattress. Right. The way it works with Takta is they have a 100 night guarantee that you can sleep on their mattress for 100 nights. If you're not happy, send it back, get your money back. Um, and that is includes non-standard sizes as well right. um, and they also have a 10-year warranty on their mattress and that is pretty amazing because it guarantees that the mattress won't cup more than an inch and a half over 10 years which is pretty phenomenal because right. i've been sleeping in a in a bowl <laughs> <laughs> so in my opinion after tearing apart all these warranty fine print things i i just think talk to comes out ahead on that as well right um and then in addition to that they have some really good add-on features that we took advantage of. And one of them we showed you earlier in the video was the moisture barrier that goes underneath of your mattress. And 
I always wondered, I always saw people talking about these moisture barriers under mattresses. And I'm like, how the heck do you get moisture under your mattress? Like if you're in bed drinking a glass of orange juice and you spill it, <laughs> that's on your bed. It's not under your bed. So how does moisture get under your bed? So I did some research on that too. And here's what happens. Here we are inside of our RV. And in the summertime, we're going to have the air conditioning on in here. But in our RV and under a lot of travel trailers too, your mattress sits over top of a storage area. And if well, you've seen any of our video tours, he'll show and demonstrate how all these beds lift up with storage underneath. Yep, and they all are, they don't have air conditioning in the storage area. So right. you have cold air in your RV and then you have hot air in the storage area and where that hot and cold meets under your mattress, that can be where condensation forms and then mold and mildew can grow. And the, op the same is true in the winter, but it's opposite, right? In the winter time, you've got your heat on and then you've got cold air in the storage compartment. And so where the heat, you know, the hot and the cold meet again under your mattress, that's where condensation and mold and mildew can form. So no matter what mattress you buy, it's a really good idea to get some sort of a moisture barrier under. Um, Takta's is called Hyperflow and it allows air to flow through that half inch of plasticky material and it won't crunch down or anything. So it just allows air to freely flow under here and that'll prevent moisture from building up under there. So it's a great feature um, no matter what mattress you buy, but Takta certainly has that available and we highly recommend that for right. anyone. Mm -hmm. So another uh, feature that they, an additional is custom sheets. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I picked the sage color. <laughs> and so, again, if you're going to get a custom size uh, mattress, then, you know, especially if it's a different shape, um, like a corner cut, then you might want to go with a set of sheets that will fit it perfectly. And you could go with a residential style uh, bed sheet, um, but you may wind up with a little extra fabric. It may be slipping. It might not yeah. fit snugly on your mattress. So um, this is something that they offer as well, is that you'll have custom sheets. And another one, which I'm super excited to try, <laughs> is um, a heated mattress pad cover yeah you know and uh, we we do a lot of camping in cooler temperatures and um, this is going to come in super super handy yeah like uh the next couple days <laughs> right <laughs> so so we're super excited to try out the heating pad our new sheets our new mattress um, we're going to sleep on it for a while make sure we really really like it and then we'll come back in a few weeks let you know what we think of everything and wrap up the video and right. let you know our final thoughts on talk to mattresses good night everybody good night <laughs> well i think that now that we've been sleeping on our mattress for quite a while we're both very very comfortable saying we love our new talk to mattress i mean definitely it has been very comfortable, mm -hmm. uh, no more sinking into mm -hmm. the mattress at night. Mm -hmm. um, no more rolling into the center of the mattress. <laughs> yeah, and it's just been great. I mean, right. we've been getting a good night's sleep mm -hmm. on it. I don't have back aches anymore, so that's a right. huge difference right there. Right. So We've even gone so far as to move our television over to yeah. the bedroom area. Yeah, we put it over here. <laughs> yep. There's a, a dual device that allows us to move our television around and um so you know in the pursuit of testing the mattress and and you yeah. know getting the most out of it we've enjoyed laying in bed and watching television yeah. which we, we've never we've done never that ever ever done that <laughs> so we've kind of you know red box and chilled i guess yes we did <laughs> uh it's been great though yeah and mm -hmm. it's just that comfortable that we're happy laying on here and watching tv it's great right so we've enjoyed it so much in fact we called uh over to talk to and told them how much we like it. They were generous enough to give us a discount code that we can offer to all of our viewers. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll put a link in the show notes down below so you can link over to Takta and you can use the discount code if you right. need a new mattress in your RV. Mm -hmm. We think this is a great choice and um, mm -hmm. you know we hope we'll, you'll check them out too. Right, absolutely. And then of course the accessories that we got to go along with it like our sheets love the sheets yeah they've they're been through the laundry a bunch of times they're i mean they're super thick yeah they're really nice yeah so we're, we're not disappointed whatsoever by getting the custom fitted sheets yeah and the um the mattress pad oh my god <laughs> that's been awesome 
And I didn't know it when I we, love it much more than I thought I would. Yeah, I, I didn't know it when we bought it how much we would like it. But one really cool feature we had no idea is it has two controllers right. to it instead of just one. So Susan can set the temperature on her side if a little warmer. I mm -hmm. like my side you know, warm, but a little cooler than she does. Mm -hmm. And that's been fantastic. Mm -hmm. And this spring has been so daggone chilly that right. we've, we've really enjoyed having the mattress pad warmer. Mm -hmm. And we used to use a heating blanket and really the mattress pad being under us instead of a blanket on top of us has mm -hmm. just been awesome. It's right. made a huge difference. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we're, yeah. I think warmer and I don't get sweaty from right. being too hot. Tip that I did learn, which is a bonus is that it is on a timer. It won't, yeah. it will shut <laughs> off. Yeah. Which is a safety feature. Which is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. No. Um, but I, you know, I turned it on to get the bed a little warm and yeah. didn't realize that. So in the middle of the night, it, it cut it off. Gone. Yeah. She turned I was it on. cold. <laughs> she turned it on like three or four hours before we went to bed to get the bed nice and hot. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. But and that's so, okay. I mean, you know, what? so what I do now is I'll turn it off and back on and now I've just expended my, yeah. my duration. One thing we did want to bring up is, um, what do you do with your old mattress when it's yeah. time to get rid of it? Mm -hmm. And so in our case, and I don't know if this is true in our area or not, but I think you can call your local um, county- DPW. Yeah, trash service and see if you can leave your mattress out right. at the curb. And if they'll, trash pick up. If they'll pick it up mm -hmm. is one option. Um, we didn't do that, we drove straight to the landfill in the RV mm -hmm. <laughs> and we pulled up and the guy was like, Hey, we don't take campers in here. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, well, we're not leaving the camper. We're just leaving the mattress. And he would not let us in, but he did tell us another landfill that we could right. go to. It was like 20 minutes away. So we turned around and drove there, right. uh, dumped the mattress in the landfill. No problem. Mm -hmm. So just call ahead uh, or go yeah. online, yeah. you know, find out if there's anything limiting you from being able to, to get rid of your mattress. Yeah, but it's it's not a big deal. Mm -mm. Just call ahead, they'll tell you where to go and you can get rid of it easily that way. Right. So anyway, we um, we really love our Talk to Mattress. We hope that you will check it out if you're interested in buying a new mattress right. for your RV. And speaking of check it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, just click one of the boxes down below. Remember to subscribe to the RV Blogger YouTube channel when you do. And that way, when you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified every single week when we put out a brand new video. So for Mike and Susan, thanks for watching and we'll see, see you next time. time.